Hey, what's up everyone, TJ here. If you're just getting started out in snowboarding and looking at buying your first board, or maybe you've been comfortable riding the same board for a long time and never really dove into the tech side of snowboarding, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So in this video, we're gonna go over the main types of snowboards that are out there, talk about their characteristics at a high level, and help you narrow down the number of snowboards that you're looking at as you're out there choosing your next snowboard. Let's start off talking about freestyle snowboards or park snowboards. So this style of board is gonna be characterized by two things primarily. That's gonna be that it has a true twin shape and a twin flex. So if you take the board and you fold it in half long ways from nose to tail, it's gonna be exactly symmetrical in the shape as well as the flex. So the flex of the board is gonna be the same on the nose as well as the tail. It's gonna feel exactly the same whether you're riding it on your regular stance or on your switch stance. With this style of snowboard, you're gonna find a really wide range of flex patterns. Everything from very soft snowboards that are geared more towards rails and jibbing and are very easy to control, all the way up to really stiff snowboards that are geared to hitting the biggest jumps, the biggest features in the park, or riding half pipe that'll have a lot of stability and a lot of energy built into them. For beginners and people just starting out, I'll usually recommend a softer flexing freestyle snowboard so you have that true twin versatility and that softer flex will make it much easier to control as you're figuring things out. There's a very wide range of performance that you're gonna get out of this style of snowboard, depending on the flex and other features that the specific board you're looking at has. But a couple of my favorites are the Battalion Evil Twin like I have right here, as well as the Capita Indoor Survival. All mountain boards, as the name suggests, is one of the widest categories of boards, and they're designed with the intention to be able to ride in any type of terrain in any condition. Whether you're out there carving in the trees or you find yourself in some powder, an all mountain board is designed so that you can have fun in all of those situations, but anytime you're trying to come up with one board or one thing to be a solution to all kinds of scenarios, there's always gonna be some sort of compromise involved. Usually these boards are either gonna be a true twin or a directional twin, uh, which is a board that's symmetrical between the contact points, but has a little bit of a longer nose and a tail outside that. That's a directional twin. Sometimes can even be a little bit directional, like have a very slight setback or a very slight taper, but are generally gonna offer a pretty twinish feel. Usually they're gonna have a medium to stiffer flex, so they have a little bit more stability and a little bit more versatility as you're out there exploring and riding at high speeds. Like I said, this is a really broad category of snowboards, but some of my favorites include the Arbor Aguchi Pro, the Capita Mercury, and the K2 Manifest that I have right here. All right, moving right along, let's talk about free ride snowboards. So this category is geared more towards carving, riding more aggressively, going fast, and oftentimes have really good powder performance as well. Usually they're gonna have a stiffer, more aggressive flex and feel to them, as well as a directional shape and a lot of directional features built into the design of the snowboard. So not only are you gonna to start to see that directional shaping, which is the longer nose than tail outside the contact points in this style of board, but you're also gonna to start to see more significant setbacks, which is the insert pack where you put your bindings shifted closer to the tail of the snowboard, as well as more significant tapers, which means the tail of the snowboard is gonna be narrower than the nose of the snowboard. A lot of free ride boards are also gonna have a directional flex to give you more stability and help get more power out of the tail of the snowboard as well. Those types of features are gonna give you a great feel for carving, definitely way more fun than a twin snowboard, but like I said before, they're also gonna help you out a lot in powder. This category starts to get a little more specific and is definitely geared towards a particular type of riding. And some of my favorites include the Jones Flagship, the K2 Simple Pleasures, and the LibTech Orca. Then you have your pure powder focus snowboards. A lot of the free ride boards are gonna float well, but with this type of board, the primary focus is how it's gonna perform in powder and how it's gonna float. So they're actually quite different and do make a compromise for other types of snowboarding uh, like carving, but the experience in powder is gonna be unmatched. These are gonna be very directional snowboards. They're usually very wide as well. Pretty much 
every feature in the design is aimed at helping you float as well as giving you maximum maneuverability in deeper snow. So that means directional shaping, width for more surface area, heavy setbacks, heavy tapers, and oftentimes you're gonna find almost no tail on this style of snowboard. So that's gonna keep your weight really far back on the board to help keep the nose up. And it's also gonna make it very, very maneuverable as you're in deeper snow. You can kick the tail out so fast on this style of board as well as a directional flex. So a stiffer tail, so you still have some stability and a softer nose to help it bend up on top of the powder rather than push into it. A lot of these boards have this swallowtail type design. So you get a little bit of extra length, which helps out on hard pack, but doesn't add much surface area. So the tail still sinks really nicely. If you live or ride somewhere where you get significant snowfall, I definitely recommend investing in a powder board. It elevates the experience significantly. Some of my favorites are the Battalion Surfer, the Rossignol Sushi, and the Jones Storm Chaser that we have right here. The last thing I wanna talk about is actually the widest category of boards, and it's technically a subset of both freestyle and all mountain boards, but you're gonna hear this come up all the time, and it's called all mountain freestyle, or what I would call a do-it-all style snowboard. This type of board is gonna be around a medium flex to offer the most versatility in its performance. They're either gonna be a true twin or directional twin, depending on the specific board you're looking at. To summarize this at a high level, I would say that this is the subset of freestyle boards that are sturdy enough to offer some good all mountain performance and the subset of all mountain boards that don't have too stiff of a flex or any kind of tech built into them that make a big compromise when it comes to park. So basically boards that are very versatile and don't really make any kind of a compromise when it comes to freestyle riding. When it comes to defining types of snowboards, this is definitely gonna be the widest category, but a few good ones to look at are the Burton Custom and the Arbor Westmark Camber that I have right here. There's a huge number of snowboards out there in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So as you're just getting started, I think having a good understanding of the basic types can be super helpful. You're also gonna find that a lot of boards are gonna fall in multiple categories and how you wanna describe a certain board is definitely up for debate. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm also gonna have all the boards I talked about linked down in the description below if you wanna check them out to get a better understanding of what we've been talking about. If you got some value out of this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more snowboard videos, and I will see you in a new one soon. See you guys.